it's Genevieve over here at Bergstrom Lexus in Appleton. I wanted to make a quick video for you because we got in our first 2016 RX 350 F Sport. Um, the other video I made was the car without the navigation system, so this is going to be quite a bit different and it's so awesome. So I'm really excited to show you. Here we go. So this is it all cleaned up in our showroom here. I don't think I've ever even done a video in, in the showroom before, um, but this is it, 2016 RX. So what the F Sport does is you have this F Sport grill and it's got this additional chrome that goes around the side. When you go here, you can see you've got the LED lighting that like wraps around right here. And then if you remember what the front grill looked like of the non F Sport one, you can see it actually comes down a lot more. You have this extra, all this extra chrome and stuff right here. Um, the fog lights have this little different um, inlay in them also with chrome too. And everything just kind of sticks out a little bit further. And the other one, it kind of angles in a little bit more right here. So you just have a lot more substantial front grill to the F Sport version. Then you also get first time ever on the RX 20 inch wheels there well, these are wet because um, we just pulled it inside because it snows here in Wisconsin um, so these are our uh, the F Sport wheels and of course it still has the F Sport badging it does the black um, side view mirrors just like it did in when they did it in the 15 and you can see it's kind of cool doing it inside here because you can see how the lights hit the different angles of the car here around in the back you can kind of see the chrome and stuff that they end up putting under here too with the dual exhaust. And then you've got the F-Sport badging here on the back as well. Ooh, slipped. Um, then on the inside of the car, I just want to show you this here in the back. It has these different mats. That, right now the all-weather mats are in the car, but it also comes with these really cool F-Sport mats. These are the carpet ones, and then they have this stitching on the outside of them. We have the all-weather mats in the car right now because, again, we live in Wisconsin, and it's the winter time here. Let's kind of go out here so you can see the whole thing. Sorry for all the bouncing. I'm bumping into cars as I'm doing this. So then here on the inside, this is actually the light gray leather interior. So you can see it's got the black and gray. Same location as all the buttons in the 15 as well. Memory seating, side view mirrors, power folding in side view mirrors. Just like that. And then here... You can see the two-tone on the seats. Then it has these, it's different from the regular RX seats. It actually has these bolsters that stick out here on the sides. And they really kind of hug you into the seat. Well, here's steering wheel. Instrument panel, it doesn't have wood trim in it. It's got this brushed aluminum. And this car also has the 12.3 inch navigation screen. When I hop in here, I'll kind of show you that stuff in a little bit more detail. I'm just going to show you the back seats here too. And then you've got these little levers here where everything folds down. You can access the back of the car. And then you still have your cup holders, little storage compartments all right here in the back. And then there's still the two-tone on the doors as well. I'm gonna kind of hop in here. So here on the instrument panel, let me kind of turn my flash off. That might work out a little bit better. So here on the instrument panel, um, you can have a few different things up. You can have the speedometers in the or tachometers in the middle. It's actually a digital speedometer. Um, and then the information that's over here on the left side is going to be like your navigation information, um, music information, information about the cruise control. This has the Lexus safety thing where it's got the laser cruise control. And then in the information screen, it can kind of show you, you know, miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, tire pressure, eco mode, G-force rating, <laughs> all kinds of fun stuff like that. If you're in all-wheel drive or not. So the, the S-Sport gives you a lot of other cooler options, um, you know, inside this little instrument panel here. And then, of course, over here on the right, far right side, you've got your fuel gauge. All these other lights that are on are just because the accessories are on, um, but they are, you know, battery lights, check engine lights, those kinds of things here. Um, then on the left side of the steering wheel, they've actually, in your 15RX, the Bluetooth controls were over here on this side. Um, they kind of swapped everything over here over to the left side. So you've got Bluetooth controls, um, volume controls, 
track up and down controls for the radio CD player, voice commands for the car, and then mode that's letting you switch from AM to FM to satellite and those kinds of things. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of it just now, so I just thought I'd show you this. The F Sport also has these um, the chrome pedals, so they did that in the 15, and they still have that um, here in the redesigned 16 as well. Then over here, this is the navigation system. So it's really similar to all the other navigation screens um, that they've had before. And if you um, are familiar with the LS460, then this is a screen that you'd be really familiar with. They, they went to this 12.3 inch screen in the, in the LS and the GS. And so what's cool about it is that um, it will keep the, like, the navigation on this side of the screen. And then on this other side, you could choose to have radio, um, phone controls, fuel efficiency, climate controls, any kind of other information that you want that it would have to, that would eliminate you having to swap from screen to screen. Uh, you also still have a rear backup camera and there's lines on it now. And then just kind of quickly jumping down here, these are, is where the radio is. So they've kind of kept the radio function um, fairly similar. Radio, media, radio is going to be AM, FM, satellite. Media is going to be anything that comes in um, or any object that you bring in the, f in the car that would um, like your phone or an iPod or MP3 player or anything like that. So um, that's what media would be. Actually, media would also be your CD player. Um, here is the climate controls, dual climate controls on the left and right side of the car. Then right in here, this whole little setup is different um, from how it was in the 15 as well. This is actually where your emergency brake is in your other car. It was down over here by the by the footrest. Um, but over here, the emergency brake is right here, and it's just pushing it on like this, or turning it off like this and pushing it on by pulling it up like that. And then it's in auto mode right now for your parking brake. So when the car goes into park with the shifter, then it just automatically engages the parking brake. When you put it in drive, it automatically disengages it. And then what this hold fun function is, they've had this on a few other cars before too it's called park hold and what park hold does is if you're driving like stop and go traffic or driving through a drive through or something like that where you're making the car come all the way to a stop while you're in drive um, when you come to a stop and drive the car will engage the emergency brake so you don't have to sit with your foot on the brake and then when you put your foot back on the gas it disengages it and you can move forward um, your heated and air conditioned seats are over here they used to be over here kind of by your um, by the navigation and mouse and stuff like that but now they've kind of tucked it up over here so there's a couple different things. Um, first, your air conditioning seats are right here. They're, it's a separate button from the heated seat. Okay, zoom in a little bit more here. But what's really cool about this is when everything is off, if as soon as I push it to turn it on, it will light up auto. And so see, it's actually on auto on both sides. I can... When I do that, I have auto lit up for both sides. So what auto mode, this is part of what is called a climate concierge. So um, it's kind of a cool feature. In auto, it will sense if you have the heater on, it will turn on your heated seats. If you're cooling the car, it will turn on the cool seats. And it also then adjusts the temperature of these the longer they've been on um, to kind of match the temperature that's in the car as well. So if you leave it in auto, you will never have to turn on your heated seats or air conditioned seats. The car will just do that all on its own. Um, here is a little the cup holder here and uh, we only just figured out what this little button inside of the cup holder that says push is in today um, it's actually a guest of mine figured it out this one cup holder can go you can push it down and make it deeper than this other cup holder right here and if I hit this push button it just brings the cup holder back up so for deep cups, you can do that. Um, and then this is an automatic um, control for the transmission in the car. You can. This is a, a pretty familiar feature. Um, if you've um, been in any new Lexuses since like 2013, they've been having um, stuff like this in here. So I can turn it to the left and it will put the car in an eco mode. And in the eco mode, it's going to make the car drive in a way that's going to get the best fuel efficiency. I can push it in the middle to put it back to normal mode. Um, I can turn it to the right to put it in a sport mode. And whenever I'm doing it, it's also putting the information up here on the nav screen, what I'm doing. And then, so sport mode adjusts the transmission. And then if I put it in sport plus mode, it adjusts the transmission, the suspension, and the steering um, just to kind of change the way that the car drives to give you a little bit more of a sporty feel. It is an 8-speed transmission in all of the RXs now that used to only be in the F-Sport, but now it is also in the RX, the regular RX, um, but this is the F-Sport, so obviously it's going to have it. It has your manual shifters right here where you can pop it over into sequential shifting mode, and it also has the paddle shifters right up here on the steering wheel. Um, the mouse is pretty similar to how it was in, in the other ones. They did add this little back button right here. Your zoom in and zoom out buttons are still here. The button that lets you jump right to the map. The button that if you push it, that just takes you right to the menu. Map. 
So that's all just by these little functions down here. This is where your armrest is. So in the older RXs, you could move this around and hit an enter button to select things. In the newer ones, it was moving this around and pushing it down to select things. Now you have the option to do both. So you can either move it around and click to select it, or you can move things around and hit enter. And there's an enter button on either side, so both the passenger and the driver could play around with this. Um, this little armrest also opens up, and you've got a little storage compartment in it for a cell phone, like a really small cell phone, actually, um, like, an, like maybe one of the older iPhones. So there's that and then inside of here is a little storage compartment this actually compartment pulls out so you have like a secret storage space in the bottom that actually um, was something that they came out with the RX in 2010 then you've got uh, another power source here USB plugs and auxiliary plugs your home link system is a new system and that is right underneath your rear view mirror they gave you back your sunglasses holder. In 2010, they took this away and they put the safety connect feature in here and you did not have a sunglass holder in the RX at all, but now you do. And then you do have, of course, this car does have a moonroof in it and your moonroof controls up and down, just like in the older RXs and open and close, slides the whole thing open and close. And then you do still have the SOS feature um, in this car. And that is a wonderful feature that you end up getting free for the first year of the vehicle. And um, these cars also have a remote start app that comes with the car as well that you get to try for a year for free so that is everything on the rx i hope you like it and if you've got any questions please let me know thanks